Colton. Yeah. What are we talking about now? <laughs> I don't know. I think we were going to talk about maybe underwear. Ah, so underwear. Underwear. Do you wear underwear? Uh, yeah, generally speaking, I do. And Usually, I wear um, a thong. All right. And how long have you been doing that? How long have I been thonging? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have uh, you been a thonger? Yeah. Probably for the past maybe seven, eight years, uh, much to the chagrin of some of my friends. Uh -huh. I'm like, you know, I don't care. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I like the fact that it gives you room for your stuff. Right. And I like the fact that there are no candy lights. And uh, I find them more comfortable than a lot of the other underwear that I've worn in the past. Um, so these are cute, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm more about like, less is more, but I like to have my, sh my stuff kind of taken care of so that it's not like all over the place. Swinging around. Swinging around. <laughs> um, and, and I just find that that has been something that has you know, been user friendly to me, whether I'm wearing a suit or jeans. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have a color preference? Um, it's, it's usually white or black. You know, usually I'm all about the gray, but in this instance, it's, it's black and white. Sweet. So are these weights a little light for you <laughs> compared to what you usually curl? Well, they, they, they work. They're light, but you know you can you can uh, work with the weight. Just increase the number of reps. Um, do them in uh, in combination with other movements. How often do you work out? Um, it varies. Sometimes um, it'll be three days a week. Sometimes it'll be five days a week. It depends on how I'm breaking down the body for that week and I like to change it up keep the body guessing <laughs> keep myself guessing <laughs> uh, well last year I released um, an album called Under the Covers and it was about 18 different uh, cover songs and so what we're doing is we're releasing in the next uh, couple of weeks a remix album of uh, some of the favorite tracks off of that covers album um, and we're also releasing a remix video because I did a video for the first single off of that album uh, which was Losing My Religion so we're releasing a remix video for that and then I'm going to shoot two other videos for two of the other remixes and do like a special acapella video uh, so that's related. So you have a lot going on. Well, that's that's coming out. I've got a new album that will be coming out uh, in the beginning of 2011. Um, I'm collaborating with uh, the Nervo Girls who wrote, uh, among others, When Love Takes Over, uh, Kelly Rowland and David Guetta Head. Uh, I collaborated with Chris Willis, who's David Guetta's male vocalist. Um, extraordinary, he's amazing. Um, Red Top. Wawa. I'm working with a bunch of different uh, international producers on this record. It's all original stuff. And then um, I co-wrote a track with a producer out of the Netherlands called Chris Reese. And the track's called Tonight and it's going to be on his forthcoming album which is coming out this summer. And then I did the same with another producer out of the Netherlands. They're all part of Armada Music, which is a big international music conglomerate. His name is Misha Daniels. And uh, the tracks are The Story and Once More. And that's slated for release in uh, October, October 15th. So when is the remix uh, album coming out? That should be out, I think it's dropping within two weeks. Right. 
Um, there's going to be a whole uh, additional separate remix package just for Losing My Religion because we've got about eight or nine amazing remixes. And, and so where's the best place for people to find? Um, it's going to be all over the internet, iTunes, Amazon, uh, through my website, www.coldfordmusic.com. Mm -hmm. um, specialty stores should have hard product, but um, the primary vehicle to uh, get music out now is, is via the internet, it's digitally. So that's the focus of uh, where our distribution is going to be. Oh, but all good stuff, all good yeah, stuff. Yeah, that sounds very exciting. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, so how do you keep looking uh, so great? How do I? Well, one of the things that I think has enabled me to, to keep whatever I've had is just consistency. Um, and, uh, you know. With the gym with and the, what you eat. With the gym. You know, I've been fortunate to have uh, a pretty fast metabolism. So, um, I haven't had to be as concerned. However, with that being said, you know, I eat right. I don't eat a lot of fried foods. I never really have. Um, I'm, I don't have a heavy duty sweet tooth. I enjoy it, but it's right. not something that, I'd rather have fruit, you know what I mean? Right. Um, and I always get, you know, fruits and vegetables in there every day. I'm usually eating every two to three hours. Just like the, the commonsensical things. Um, and as I've gotten older, I've changed the way that I work in the gym. So uh, I'm not pushing and lifting as heavy as I was even three years ago. Right. Um, you know, I've taken off probably about 20, 20 pounds of, of muscle, hmm. uh, but I've done it symmetrically. Yeah. So I think it 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 enables me to continue the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you know, you start thinking about your joints and, 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 and functional training really factors into the way I work in the gym now. Uh, I blend that with uh, my weight training so I'm able to keep core strong and, and keep my aesthetic without, you know, busting a nut every time I go <laughs> to the gym. Yeah. Um, and I keep it, it, I keep changing it up. Right. So my no, body... No, it's definitely working. I well, mean, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm knocking on plastic. Exactly. <laughs> you do what you have to do. Got to. <laughs> Alright, so we're done for the day of huh? shooting. <laughs> hey, I got some underwear. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and you know what? It doesn't necessarily have to be for your body. You can put it on. It's wonderful for your head. It's nice. <laughs> it's like you can make cupcakes with that. Baker. Alright. Thank you, dailyjocks.com. <laughs> www. See ya from New York. <laughs>